Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2017 general readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers who might be with us for the first time. Thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribers. Uh, thank you for your feedback, comments, and support. You guys are brilliant. Keep it coming. Thank you to my regular clients as well for the consistent feedback that you continue to send uh, for how our readings continue to play out in your lives. And thank you so very much for those of you who continue to keep me so busy. Busy, uh, reaching out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It's an honor and a pleasure to read for you and I'm grateful for the trust that you place in me to do so. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the about or description button on my YouTube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information and also has my email address, which is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. That's M-A-G-G-I-E, the number one, M-C-G-U-I-R-E at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I do readings full-time six days a week, so turnaround time is anywhere from a few days upwards of two weeks, but almost always we can schedule a reading for you within a two-week period of time. I do love and romance readings, compatibility charting, career work and finance, year overviews, gift readings, channeled messages, and so on. So if you're interested, email me and we'll go from there. Uh, make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well. Um, if this is your primary sun sign, you may find that one of those may resonate more predictably for you. But watching all three gives you additional bits of insight and clarity and makes the picture of what's going on in your life potentially um, a little more cohesive because they are general readings. There's so many of you watching. Of course, they're not going to mean the same thing to the same degree and intensity for everyone watching. So moving right along. Since we are doing the beginning of the month generals, I'm going to be pulling uh, eight cards, two cards for each week, with an additional ninth card from the bottom of the deck for overall energy and guidance. This reading is for Gemini, the air sign of Gemini, Gemini the Twins, for the month of June 2017. Let us see what this lovely month of June has in store for our twins, for the Geminis, June 2017. Okay, Gemini, we begin with the Nine of Wands, followed by the Eight of Wands. We have the Five of Swords, followed by the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Swords. <sighs> I just got this very strong impression that some of you are telling somebody where to go. <laughs> and then at or towards the... <laughs> It's very strong too. At or towards the end of June 2017, we have the Ten of Wands, followed by the Six of Swords. I like how that ends. And then from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is the Six of Wands. Beautiful. <laughs> wow, that just came in like a powerful kind of arrow. All right, Gemini, let's take a quick feel here. Okay. Okay, Gemini, let's begin. So we find ourselves at the beginning of June 2017, although I am recording these the end of May, with the Nine of Wands followed by the Eight of Wands. I am still continuing to use continuing to use the Gilded Tarot by artist Ciro Marchetti. So <clears throat> The Nine of Wands. Wands is fire energy. That's this suit's element. So it's a very fiery, active, dynamic suit. It's very forward moving. Uh, it's about creating, building, manifesting, change, action, power. It's a very dynamic suit. The Nine of Wands is about hanging in there, not giving up kind of at the 11th hour because it represents being almost at the end of something because tens represent the end of a cycle. We're at the, the nine here. The Nine of Wands represents... Uh, you know, that you've walked a fair path already. You've faced a lot of challenges as this man has. He's a soldier. He's been through a number of battles and he's tired, worn out, exhausted. He's probably had a few wounds to deal with, but he's still going. He's almost done. He's at the nine. He's run into this, this, this cluster of wands behind him. They represent one kind of last final obstacle, delay, challenge of some kind. He's a little confused about it. He wasn't expecting it because he was close to wrapping up his journey. And the mouthpiece is making this weird little shadow and it's 
kind of freaking me out a little bit. <clears throat> so he's taken a step back and he's, it's not about a full-blown retreat or running away just when you're very close to the finish line. It's just about taking a step back, withdrawing just a little bit to get a fresh perspective, a different look at it, maybe trying to re-strategize, figure out how you can get through this obstacle, deal with it so you can, so you can move on and complete your journey. Now it's accompanied by the Eight of Wands, more fire energy here. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication. Uh, this can be a, a different types of communication. We do live in a pretty electronically savvy age, so this can be text, email, phone, person to person. Uh, communication coming swiftly and powerfully. It can also be an uh, exchange of communication. For some of you, it can represent communication that's on its way because the wands have left their point of origin, but they haven't quite reached their destination yet. So paired with the nine of wands, Gemini, it, it looks like you're a lot of you are either expecting to receive news, communication, information of some kind, uh, and there there maybe has been a delay or an obstacle of that. For, for others of you, you're waiting to give uh, or impart news, information, message, a conversation with somebody, um, and you've kind of been planning it out, but for some reason you can't do it right now. There's some kind of, I feel like there's a delay kind of energy in here, or something may have come up which is preventing this from happening at the time it's meant to happen, although I do believe it happens later on. And what this is about, we have uh, we have some wands, we have a couple of swords, we have some swords, uh, we have one pentacles, more wands. I mean, this could be about a project of some kind or an artistic uh, endeavor. It could be work, job, situation. It could even be a relationship for some of you, like personal romantic or friendship relationship. Um, because there's so many of you watching, the specifics are going to vary, but as I always say, the energy fundamentally remains the same. There's some kind of communication, news, information, or conversation. Some of you, this is a conversation you're either waiting, you're waiting to have with someone, whether they're bringing it to you, you're bringing it to them, news, messages, etc. And it's about trying to kind of deal with that at the end of May, going into the beginning of June. Now, next to that, we have the Five of Swords, followed by the High Priestess. So the Five of Swords, here we have air energy, that's the suit's element, and this suit is about what goes on up here, it's mental energy, cerebral, intellectual energy. It's about our words and our ideas and how we communicate them. It's about our belief system and perspective, how we think about things and how we communicate those things. It's also about truth, illumination, clarity, higher education and learning uh, sometimes as well. The Five of Swords is, is a card of victory, technically. Uh, I say technically because it does represent coming out on top or a victory which can come at, at, it can cost quite a bit or it can come at a high cost and the question which accompanies this card as I always say is is it worth it for some of you the question the answer is going to be yes for, for others of you it's going to be no sometimes the cost comes at Sometimes the cost is just your personal energy, your time, your effort. I mean, this man has has is obviously the victor. He's come out on top. You can see his opponents or foes or enemies are on the ground defeated. He's gathered up their weapons. He's holding his own aloft, but he looks tired, worn out, exhausted. You know, it's not like a very sunshiny, birds chirping kind of picture. He's bleeding from a little cut on his forehead. This battle has cost him a lot. And sometimes uh, these people on the ground behind him can represent that whatever this is, uh, you know, that you're coming out on top or you're wanting to come out on top, it may come at the cost of personal uh, of personal relationships or, or with relationships with people. Sometimes this card comes up uh, when people are so ambitious or so competitive or so um, compelled to win that they sometimes hurt or step on other people doing it, can represent that, so kind of be vigilant about that. Uh, we want to stick with, you know, personal integrity. Um, and sometimes it can represent that um, holding, that winning, meaning holding on to what you believe in or refusing to back down from something may cause a breakup or a separation between you and somebody else, whether that's romantic or a friendship or even a, a work relationship as well. Um, but it does represent coming out on top, even though it looks like the challenge itself or the battle itself is it, it's not easy now and and you're trusting in that or you're being asked to trust in that because the five of swords is paired with the high priestess so the high priestess is a major arcana card fingers of the divine significant energies the high priestess is a card of uh 
spirituality, uh, trusting your instinct and your intuition. And intuition is our connection with the divine. Uh, when we get intuitive uh, flashes about something, intuitive insight or, you know, dreams, it's about paying attention to those. So definitely pay attention to any dreams you have about the situation, any flashes of insight or clarity, because those are messages from the divine. That's what our intuition is. It's our connection with the divine. And and it's this, this card is about... Uh, opening ourselves up to that connection and trusting in it and allowing that to guide us. So paired with the five of swords, it's about trusting that. I think for a lot of you, whatever it is that the cost is in this situation is worth it for you. And you're being asked to, to trust in that. For some of you, some of you are just maybe, I feel like a smaller portion of you are maybe just hell bent for leather on coming out on top or being the victor in this. And for, for those of you, the high priestess may be advice for you to kind of, okay, touch base with your intuition, your instinct, touch base with that connection with the divine and make sure that what this is going to cost you is actually going to worth it, is actually worth it. And, it, and, it, and not only that, but that it stays in alignment with what you know to be true and right and good for yourself. So it really depends on which side, you know, which group that you fall into. Now, next to that, we have the combination of uh, the Nine of Pentacles followed by the Knight of Swords. So <laughs> I'm laughing because the second I laid this combination of cards down, I got this very strong intuitive flash, this channel that some of you, um, that this this delay, this communication or conversation, which was delayed initially, is happening later on. And somehow during this communication or conversation, or at the end of it, I feel like some of you, maybe more than half of you, actually, you tell it like it is. For some of you, it's going to be flat out telling somebody off. But it, it's not just about, you know, being aggressive just for the sake of it. It's about uh, standing up for yourself. The nine of pentacles, pentacles is earth energy. That's the suit element. So it usually manifests in earthly ways, in, in tangible ways, in the in the day-to-day -day world, the concrete world that we live in, things like money, finance, property, resources, assets, etc., or tangible results of the effort we put into something because you can apply that same energy to spirituality and relationships as well. The nine of pentacles is a card of independence, self-sufficiency, uh, self-empowerment, it's sometimes called the happy, successful, single woman card, although it's not really clear if she's single or not. The point is that she's reached a point in her life, she's built up a pretty good foundation for herself, uh, whether that's financially, materially, a sense of who she is. She loves herself. She loves her life. She loves what she's built up for herself. She loves where she's going. She's earned everything that she's enjoying. Nobody's handed anything to her. Um, so whether she's single or not, that energy remains the same for her. It's a beautiful, strong, assertive energy. Now, it's paired with the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> so we have more of that air energy, that words, ideas, communication energy. Knights are the bringers, the deliverers, sometimes the defenders of the tarot. Typically, when you see them, they represent an offer or an opportunity, uh, and they can also represent the speed at which a situation moves. The Knight of Swords is about, uh, this is information, truth, message being brought to someone or to you. For some of you, somebody may be <laughs> delivering this to you, but I feel like for the majority of you, you are the knight of swords. You are delivering this, uh, and you are an air sign as well, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, sometimes the knight of swords can be a challenging energy because it's, it's message, information, news, it's communication that's delivered pretty much devoid of any of that water emotional energy. This is straight, short, sweet, direct, to the point blunt even. Sometimes it comes across as emotionally distant or emotionally detached, not necessarily meant to be that way. It's just the truth delivered in its absolute clarity without any extraneous fantasy illusion. It's There's no sugarcoating here. Sometimes it's like an inconvenient truth or the cold hard truth. Paired with a nine of pentacles, I feel like a lot of you in this communication or conversation are telling people, you know, I don't need you. I don't need what you're providing. I don't need this situation anymore. Um, I am fully capable in and of myself. I can, you know, provide for myself. I can do what I need to do. I manifested my own life path so far and I can continue to do that. You can be on board with me or not. Some of you, a smaller portion of you, this could be somebody else saying this to you, but I feel like for the majority of you, whatever this situation is, 
Some of you, it's going to be like, I'm done. I don't need this anymore because I, I know who I am and I know my path and I am fine without you and, and there's a separation of moving away. For others of you, it's just setting boundaries, very clear boundaries. Look, I'm not okay with this. You know, I've, I've worked too hard to get to where I'm at and, you know, are, are we on board? Are we going to be working together or not? This could be a work career path situation. This could be, you know, with a partner in some other kind of project or endeavor. And for some of you, it could be a personal relationship or friendship as well. Now, at or towards the end of, but it feels very strong, very direct, very to the point, like, you know, this is how it is. And, you know, here I go. So at or towards the end of June 2017, <clears throat> this could also be the advice and how you need to conduct yourself through too. Assertive is not aggression, so be careful that you understand the difference between the two of those. So again, trying to reach the end of this. At the end of the month, roughly, we have the Ten of Wands followed by the Six of Swords. A lot of fire and, and air energy, actually. A lot of like movement, creative building energy, and a lot of, you know, words, ideas, truth, and clarity coming out as well. I feel like it's a lot of like uh, perhaps some thoughts, but talking, talking, uh, thinking, working things out, and then boom, having this very straightforward communication. So the Ten of Wands represents a cross you've had to bear, a burden that you've had to bear, coming to an end or needing to come to an end because the ten, Tens represent the end of a cycle, the coming full circle of something, something cycling to a close or it needs to. This burden has grown so heavy that uh, you can't even stand up straight. Uh, you've been carrying it successfully, but still it's so heavy. Uh, the end is in sight, that place where you can lay this burden down, stand up and take a deep breath, or it's time that you lay this burden down, stand up and take a deep breath because you need to be free of it. Now, it's accompanied by the Six of Swords. This is a lovely card. It's a card of peace, restoration, healing. It's a quiet energy, sometimes somber energy, but it's positive. It's a card of peace, restoration, and healing. It, it represents moving away from a a troubling or, or challenging, chaotic, imbalanced, perhaps painful time, a, a struggle into a time that's more balanced, more peaceful, serene. It's a card of healing. The worst is behind you. The waters behind you are all choppy and wavy and turbulent, but you're sailing into these smooth, peaceful, placid waters. You're not quite to the other shore yet where everything's settled, but you're in progress. You're on your way. You're moving towards it um, and laying this burden down, this heavy burden, this cross you've had to bear. So I like how that ends. It's I feel like for a lot of you for whom this resonates, whatever this situation is, you're like, I can I can do for myself. I already have. I've worked really hard to get to where I'm at. You can be on board with me or not, but this is what I'm doing. And some of you are just dumping something and just moving on. And your overall energy is wonderful. It is your overall energy and guidance from the bottom of the deck is the six of wands. This is a card of victory, triumph after a battle, success after a struggle. This man went off to achieve something, you know, um, build a career path, have a family, you know, uh, rescue a princess, kill a dragon, you know, whatever. And he succeeded. He's been triumphant. He's riding back into town with all his colorful banners waving. He is proud of himself. The crowds are cheering and giving him accolades. It can also be a card of personal recognition for all of your work and everything that you've done. Some of you may be getting an award or a bonus or personal recognition for, for this as well. And uh, some of you may be even giving a talk. This Nine of Pentacles or Nine of Swords may not be a singular conversation with one person. It may be a talk you're giving and recognition for something. You know, look, this is what I've done. You can do it too, maybe very motivational for some of you, but it's a card of victory and triumph after struggle, success after, you know, after uh, uh, an awful lot of work and effort and struggling along. So it's a beautiful, powerful energy and reading, uh, Gemini. So Gemini, that pretty much wraps up your June 2017 general readings. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it, that it's given you some insight, perhaps a little bit of guidance. Uh, I am keeping those love snapshots as I started last month, so you can look for those in a few days to a week from now. Uh, they'll be coming out uh, well before the, the mid-months. Uh, and thank you very much for the overwhelmingly positive uh, feedback on those. 
Uh, I will see you all again uh, when we do those love snapshots. And again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one tailored just for you uh, reading with me live or recorded, please feel free to contact me at my email address, which is under the About or Description button on my YouTube channel's homepage. That is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. You can also find me through that same email address on PayPal for those of you who feel so inclined to uh, make a donation in support of my channel. Any small amount is gratefully and graciously accepted and thank you very much for those of you who have and continue to donate I appreciate it very much saving up for that new computer and audio system uh, I will see you all again in a little while for the love snapshots Gemini and until then as always uh, I wish you joy peace blessings and a happy life and I hope to see you soon take care bye-bye